I have a 330. Huh? Uh, 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 John. He said he was. I asked him. He said he was all hyped about it. I was like, okay. John. No, él dijo. It was weird. I need the key. Well, I'm gonna do my spiel, you know what I mean? Which, What's your name? Hey, Kendrick. Ricardo. Hey, I need a sweat towel. I need a sweat towel. I got a little sweat going. Here we go. Guys, we're about to go on a journey here. That happened 53 years ago. On November 22nd, 1963, the President of the United States is assassinated in Dallas, Texas. We're on Main Street right now. You know, this location, this is the street I actually was on on the day he was assassinated. Here we go. I want you to imagine these streets crowded with people over on the right side and the left side of the street. You know, they all came out to see the president. Or did they really come to see this kid? You gotta realize, Miss Kennedy, back in the day, she was like a movie star, like a rock star as she traveled down the street. You can hear the people cheering her on and screaming for her. You know, if you look over to the left side, you'll see the uh, old Red Museum and all those windows were rolled up. Cause see, back then it was the courthouse called the Old Red. And all the judges were hanging out of these windows with their black robes on as they cheered on the president. Everybody loved him that day as they'll make this right turn into history. I will tell you something. As much as the people loved him, there was that one person that hated him, that one person that wanted him dead. And that would be Lee Harvey Oswald. As a matter of fact, Lee Harvey Oswald will be on the sixth floor of that building right there, the Texas School Book Depository. Exactly at 1230. At exactly at 1230 on November 22nd, 1963, on a Friday, they will make a left turn onto this street right here to my left. It is Elm Street. You know, Lee Harvey Oswald's only been working there the last six weeks. He's employed on the fourth floor. As the manager told all the employees on the fourth floor to go down and give everybody a Texas greeting. Oswald didn't want to do that. As a matter of fact, Oswald went up two floors to the sixth floor and stood in that corner window that I just showed you. He'll have an Italian Marcano rifle, a rifle that he ordered from Chicago for $12.63. And the first shot that hits the president will hit him right here. That's the shot that hits him in the back of the neck. He comes out his throat. 1.8 seconds later, the second shot that hits him right there. The shot that hits him right in the back of the head. Right there, that's the grassy knoll. That's where they shot him. 
160 some odd people went up there. You know what they find? Nothing. There was nothing up there. Because the killer was walking down six floors on the Texas School Book Depository. 